Okay, so this is a tutorial on how to make uh, karaoke subtitle files. So the first thing you're going to need to do is get a program to do it. The program that I used is a program that is called uh, Aegisub. Um, I'm not actually sure if this is the way that it's pronounced, but that's the way that it's spelled. So you just search for this in Google, go to their website. I'll also link this in the description, the uh, link to this website. And you can download the installer or the portable version or whichever version you need. And once you do that, you download it, you install it, you start it running, you will be met with this. Now there's a lot of buttons and, and things here to like press, but like it's actually not that complicated, not as complicated as it looks. So um, the way that I like to do subtitle files with this is um, just to open a video first. So you go to the video section and you hit open video. And I'm going to be using for this example uh, this clip that I believe is from Hello Kitty. So once you open the video, you know, it's just a regular video player. Let me actually lower the volume a bit. This is like a regular video player. Nothing really special about it. Um, and uh, now we need to um, set up the dialogue. So, um... The way that dialogue works is it's all going to appear down here, and uh, the way that I like to do that is um, it's kind of like a copy-paste method. Um, so if you have your dialogue and it's lined up in such a way, let me just make some dialogue real quick. So if you have some dialogue like that, and you just you could just like select it all, copy it, and then you can paste it, and then it'll be it'll get split into these uh, separate lines. So that's the way that I like to import it. There's probably other ways you can probably just make a text file and import it, or you could like like insert the lines of dialogue one at a time. But like however you want to do it is is fine. Um, so I actually already uh, did the dialogue for this clip, uh, so I'm just gonna copy that and paste it right in here. Okay, so once you have your dialogue, uh, you'll notice that it's all set to like the 0000, zero, zero, zero time for the start and end. That means that it hasn't been timed yet. It's just sitting there ready to be timed, but it hasn't actually been set to anything. Uh, so the way that you actually time dialogue in this program is a little bit different than other programs, other older programs that I've used before. Uh, you actually time it with the audio and not with the video. Um, so there's this section over here. This is actually where all the timing is going to happen. So if I click here, uh, it'll move this red line. This red line is the indicator of the start of the dialogue, and uh, this blue line is the indicator of the uh, end of the dialogue. And uh, you can just click and drag these, but you can also, like, if you right-click, it'll move the blue line. If you left-click, it'll move the red line. And if you, if you, like, move out of the space that it's in, and then you click, then it'll just move it to a different space. If you click and drag, then you can like start the red line and the blue line. So it's basically, it's like that. So uh, let me time the dialogue for the first line of dialogue for a second. Also, <laughs> if you hit this play button, this play button with red boxes around it, it will play the uh, exact time on the audio where you're uh, timing the dialogue currently. So, and, um, but, you know, pressing this play button over and over again is kind of tedious. So they actually created a uh, keyboard shortcut. If you press spacebar, it'll do the same thing. So I just press spacebar to do the timing. So I'm going to do the timing for this, uh, for this part real quick. So the dialogue starts around here. And let me see here. Also, like, there's other tricks you can do, like, if you don't want to listen to the entire thing going through, you can hit this button, which will play the last milliseconds, the last 500 milliseconds, so you can see where it's ending. And the uh, keyboard shortcut for that is D, so you can just press D to do that on the keyboard, okay. So this is around where the next line of dialogue starts, so I'm going to end this line of dialogue just before the next one starts. And uh, once you have your uh, changes to the dialogue or the timing set, uh, you have to hit this button to commit it. 
if you don't hit this button and you click away, click back, it's going to just reset and you're going to have to set it up all over again. So make sure when your changes are ready, when your timing is set, click this button. All right, so after you click that button, you'll notice that um, down here, there's a start, there's an end now. And uh, if you look at the video, you can actually see that the, little, like the dialogue is appearing there. Actually, it appears kind of, it looks kind of small. So I'm going to uh, adjust the size. You can actually adjust the size of the subtitles if you think they're too small pretty easily too. So to do that, you go to Subtitle, Styles Manager, and uh, just edit the default style. You don't need to create a new style. I mean, if you want to mess around with that, you can, but it's like easier to just do it this way. Um, so I'm just going to change it to a scale of 200%. Uh, I only really mess around with the scale. I haven't really messed around with this other stuff, but yeah, I assume if you want to change the colors, you can do that here too. So just keep that in mind. All right, so uh, when I set the scale of that, it looks a little bigger and easier to see. And so I'm going to change the size of the video so that I have more room to work with the audio. All right, so when you set your first subtitle file and you want to uh, start setting the next one, the way you do that is you go to the first, you select the first subtitle file, and uh, you hit the commit button again. Because every time you hit the commit button, it will commit the changes, like set the time, but it will also like give you a start of the next subtitle. So now this is like where, where the next subtitle is starting and you can move it around to whatever it needs to be. All right, um, so I'm going to time a few of these subtitles and I'll uh, say what, uh, like if there's anything that needs to be said, any information about it. Okay, move that here. Okay. okay. So I'm going to end this one about here. Okay, so now I just commit the changes and that subtitle is set. So if you look, now the subtitles are appearing, right? Okay, so it's actually at this point that I um, purposefully didn't include a line of dialogue in the subtitle files because sometimes, like, uh, if you make a mistake, uh, here's how you can fix it. Like, um, if you forgot a line of dialogue, you want to add something before or after, you just click a line of dialogue where it's near and then, like, right click on that and say insert before and it will basically say where where that line it'll basically insert a line of dialogue before uh, so the thing that she said there was actually um, something along that line so uh, I will continue with the uh, timing so I'm gonna go back to the first one or go back to the previous one hit the commit button to get this thing created and then uh, move it around until it matches okay Okay, so this one actually starts right around here. And I think uh, I can end it right around here. Um, so I'm going to commit that. And then, uh, so the next line of dialogue actually starts pretty far ahead. So I'm just going to scrape far ahead. And I'm like, to scrape right now, what I'm doing is uh, on the laptop, if you put two fingers on the trackpad, then you can scrape. But you could also just scrape using this thing. So it's like, either way. Um, I think the dialogue starts somewhere around here. Okay, so... And then the next line of dialogue starts right there, so I'll just end this one here. And then uh, I'm going to do like two more lines, and then I think that's good enough for a demonstration on how to time the phrases anyways. Okay, so the next line of dialogue ends here, and then the next line starts there. Okay, so this one... Um, Okay, yeah, it starts right there, so... 
Okay, so that's uh, those lines of dialogue. Let's see what they look like. Alright, well, this one actually should be sooner. Hold on a second. Uh, let me actually adjust this one first. Let me see, start at the A. Uh, and this one should be pretty much back where this one ends. And then if I apply that. Okay, so basically you do that for the entire uh, file. So um, that's how you time the phrases. Uh, I'm going to stop this video, I'm going to start another video, and I'll show you how to uh, do the karaoke timing.